the civilians around the area were in the crossfire of the fighting, and there was no place for them really to go other than the, uh, the, our compound. People just streaming in, streaming in. We, we, we couldn't control the, the amount, and of course you couldn't say no to people seeking, seeking shelter and help and protection from us. We didn't ask anybody, are you pro-government or anti-government? So it didn't matter, and we didn't know. We, just, we were just there to protect whoever showed up in our gate. The government took over Boar Town from the armed groups. They incurred um, a lot of losses themselves, and uh, but by the time they, they got to Boar, uh, temperatures were, were very high, um, and they were very angry. I'm sure they were also in, in a state of shock. A senior government official had landed in, in the airfield. I greeted the senior government official, and um, he asked me, uh, point blank, are those people in your compound pro or anti-government? And um, I said, sir, uh, we don't distinguish. We just help whoever sh shows up. And uh, we said, well, I, w I want to visit later. And I, I thought that was, that was a great idea and uh, I was more than willing to support in any way I could, um, made the arrangements. But um, he arrived in the afternoon with uh, at least 80 armed soldiers. And when uh, they came to the gate, it was it was clear that the the intentions weren't um, were, were were not good. Yeah, and you can go with anybody who's got unarmed and not in uniform, except media. Except media. If you don't solve them, you will answer. If you don't answer, you will answer. Um, they. they wanted to make their way past me and, and into, the, in, into the compound. I immediately said, um, you can't come in with your weapons, you can't come in with your uniforms, and you can't come in with your cameras because of, of respect for the internally displaced persons. And um, they, they refused, said, no, this, is, uh, this is our country, our government, you, you don't tell us where to go. And that's when soldiers started to push past me and um, that's when I ordered the gates of the compound closed. It was, uh, it was, it was difficult. The, the, hearing the gates closed was probably the loudest sound that I've, I've ever heard because I, I found myself on the other side with a, a military liaison officer and another civilian staff and, and, and that was it. That's when uh, the soldiers had uh, cocked their rifles at me and still insisted to, uh, to, to come in. And that's when I really just kept saying no. I mean, we had all these people depending on us, depending on the UN inside that compound, thousands. This was their last refuge. The, 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 there was nowhere, nowhere else. I mean, this, uh, this point was uh, not negotiable. Uh, at, at minimum, they, they would have shot whomever they thought could have been anti-government. Um, they would have perhaps taken people out and arrested them. There was a multitude of things that happened and none of them, none of them were good. Well, I really think about it so much before, but, but afterwards I had time, time to reflect. I pretty much said goodbye to, uh, to, to everything. Um, no, I, I, I didn't know what was going to happen and uh, uh, just uh, had to make an internal decision what, what was important and right, right then and there and, and the thousands of people that we were protecting was, uh, was the, mo the most important thing. Then uh, uh, it was back and forth for, for uh, 
I, I couldn't even tell you how long. It could have been a minute, it could have been an hour, but it was, it was you know, what, what felt like a long time. Um, after they saw that we weren't budging, and, and uh, they, somehow they got less emboldened. And um, I'd, I'd, I can't say when the pivot time was, when it, things turned around, but they just, at some stage, started to get into their vehicles and, 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 and leave. And that was almost the opposite of what I thought was going to happen next. And, uh, but no, I'm grateful that that's, that's the way it ended.